I've just seen Sergei Polunin in Marguerite and Armand at the Royal Opera House. Polunin, you may remember, is the male dancer who hit all the front pages in January last year when he walked out of the Royal Ballet saying that he was going to give up dance altogether and take up tattooing. Um, he has quite a lot of tattoos on his body already. The ballet world was really shocked because he is one of the great male dancers um, of our time. He's very young, he's in 23, but he is fantastic. He's got a high jump, a lovely line, fast pirouettes, and we all felt incredibly sad that he wasn't going to perform anymore but in fact he's sort of calmed down he's based in Russia now he's back dancing he came back to the Royal Ballet to dance Marguerite and Armand with an equally wonderful ballerina called Tamara Rocco who has also left the company in slightly calmer circumstances she's gone off to be the uh, director of the English National Ballet so this performance was like um, a welcome back to him and a farewell to her and it was amazing it was just sensational this is a ballet made in 1963 by Frederick Ashton for um, Nureyev and Fontaine to dance and it requires dancers of extraordinary personal charisma. There's not many steps actually, there's not a lot of showing off. It's just about the relationship between this young man and the courtesan who's dying of tuberculosis who he falls in love with. It's 30 minutes long, it's very short and it's absolutely sensational when it's danced as well as it was last night. And what you've got from it and what makes me love ballet when it works is that it wasn't just the steps were wonderfully danced, though they were. I mean, you know, ballooning hung in the air. Um, Rocco is so f uh, fearless in going into lifts and she kind of flings herself into these amazing sort of shapes. But the, the thing about them was that they lived on the stage and they told this story of uh, love a misunderstanding and ultimate deathbed reconciliation with such power and such expressive passion that you could hear a pin drop in the opera house and you don't often get that in ballet it really really was a night to remember and i'm very glad i was there to see sergey palunin return to the royal opera house stage if you were there, then you could leave a comment below and uh, perhaps let me know what you think about Marguerite and Armand generally. And my review is on the Telegraph website.